EVs are being pitched as cleaner, greener and sustainable. Blood batteries. These cars drive human rights violations, extreme poverty and child labor. The dark side of EVs, what they're not telling you. It's fair to say that the EV industry is growing exponentially. People believe EVs are cleaner, greener, and more sustainable than conventional cars. But what they don't tell you is that EVs have a dark side. EV batteries have a limited lifespan, usually around 10 years or 150,000 miles. After that, they lose their capacity and performance and need to be replaced or recycled. But how do you recycle a battery? Can the materials be reused effectively? And more importantly, where do they all go? Join us as we explain what nobody tells you about the EV battery industry and introduce the industry's latest buzzword, black mass. Electric vehicles are seen as a green alternative to conventional cars that run on fossil fuels and emit harmful greenhouse gases. However, for many reasons, some people still believe EVs are not as eco-friendly as they seem. One of these reasons is that they rely on battery metals with a high environmental impact. These metals include lithium, nickel, cobalt, and manganese, which are essential for making the cathode of lithium-ion batteries. These metals are scarce and require intensive mining and processing, which consume a lot of energy and generate a lot of emissions. According to some estimates, it takes several years of driving an EV to offset the carbon footprint of producing its battery. But this argument overlooks a crucial factor, battery recycling. Once these metals are extracted from the earth, they can, in theory, be recycled repeatedly, with nearly 99% of the battery materials being reused from one battery generation to the next. The challenge, however, lies in the practical recycling and repurposing of valuable cathode materials, often referred to as black mass. But for those who can effectively achieve this, black mass recycling could become highly valuable, just like modern day black gold. Extracting lithium, cobalt, and nickel by recycling used electric car batteries is a lot more efficient than mining the earth for these metals. Also, there is no end to the number of times you can recycle these metals, and the process has an efficiency rate of more than 90%. What exactly does black mass mean? The term black mass is used to describe the residual substance that remains after lithium ion batteries have been dismantled at the end of their operational life cycle. Despite the abundance of this material, the true challenge lies in the intricate process of recovering the valuable cathode elements, such as lithium, nickel, manganese, and cobalt, entangled within the battery structure and then repurposing them into usable battery components. In the world of battery recycling, both companies that shred used batteries and companies like Recyclico, which recover valuable materials from the black mass, are often referred to as recyclers. Recyclico, for instance, is at the forefront of a new approach. They have developed the ability to convert this black mass into something similar to black gold by efficiently extracting nearly all of the cathode materials from it. These materials are then repurposed into battery-grade precursor cathode active material, or PCAM, and lithium, which can be used once more in the battery manufacturing process. This innovative process helps reduce the need for mining new materials and minimizes waste, making it a significant step forward in sustainable battery technology. And what's interesting is that batteries crafted from these recovered materials have been shown to perform just as well as brand new ones. In independent testing carried out by a major battery supplier, lithium ion battery cells using Recyclico's high nickel PCAM with N83 and N90 compositions, nickel manganese cobalt oxide containing 83% nickel and 90% nickel, both of which are crucial in modern high-performance battery cells, were found to be on par with cells made from freshly mined materials. This parity was observed across various measures like purity, tap density, particle distribution, particle size, and surface area. To validate their performance, Recyclico's recycled material batteries underwent electrochemical testing. This involved creating battery cells with PCAM material and then subjecting them to multiple charge and discharge cycles. The results were compared to brand new batteries, and the recycled batteries exhibited similar specific capacity and coulombage efficiency proving that they perform as effectively as new ones. Having had its process validated by several third-party entities, Recyclico has now moved on to practical implementation. Currently, Recyclico operates a cutting-edge demonstration facility in Vancouver, Canada. Here, 
They're producing high-quality battery materials for some of the industry's top brands, but they're not stopping there. In a recent development, Recyclico announced a groundbreaking joint venture with Zenith Chemical Corporation. They are planning to invest 25 million USD in a 50-50 partnership to establish a lithium battery recycling plant in Taiwan. This facility is set to have an impressive annual capacity of 2,000 metric tons, equivalent to nearly 4.5 million pounds of lithium battery recycling. This partnership is significant because it will grant Recyclico to rapidly and effectively move into large-scale production. Zenith Chemical Corporation has extensive connections with lithium-ion battery industry, and being a private company, they possess a dynamic and adaptable management team capable of seizing emerging opportunities swiftly. Battery recycling has evolved from a niche idea into a thriving industry with potentially billions of dollars at stake. Recyclico's involvement in this field has deep roots, as evidenced by its extensive research and development efforts. Zenith Chemical Corporation's collaboration might just be the beginning. In simple terms, Zenith is poised to be the first of many commercial partnerships. As the automotive industry races towards developing all-electric vehicle lineups, Recyclico's lithium ion battery recycling solution could be the key for automakers and battery manufacturers to ensure a sustainable source of critical minerals and metals needed to power North America's electric future. But it's not just them. According to Jeslene Tang, an analyst at S&P Global Commodity Insights, there is definitely increasing interest from automakers in black mass now. Some have already announced partnerships or joint ventures to explore EV battery recycling opportunities, such as BMW, Ford Motor Co. and Mercedes-Benz. Glencore, a global mining and trading company, announced a plan in May 2023 to partner with Lycycle, a Canadian recycling firm, to process black mass in Sardinia, Italy. BASF, a German chemical giant, expect to start producing black mass in Germany next year. And last week, an affiliate of Mercuria Energy Trading a Swiss-based commodity trader agreed to form a joint venture with the U.S. recycler to help sell its black mass worldwide. Recycling black mass can help reduce the environmental impact of mining and refining battery metals, as well as ensure a more stable and sustainable supply chain. According to estimates from S&P Global Commodity Insights, recycled materials will account for 15% of the global supply of lithium, 11% for nickel, and 44% for cobalt by the end of this decade. Still, there are plenty of challenges and uncertainties facing the black mass industry. One of them is the changing chemistry of batteries. The growing popularity and improved performance of lithium iron phosphate cells, or LFP, has helped lower costs and spur the adoption of EVs. However, LFP chemistry does not contain nickel or cobalt, which are the most valuable metals in black mass. Therefore, LFP batteries are less attractive for recycling and may reduce the profitability of black mass producers. According to Fast Markets, a market research firm, NCM batteries have an average metal value of about $10,040 for every ton of cells at recent prices. LFP batteries, on the other hand, have a much lower value of $3,935 per ton. Moreover, LFP batteries can be more costly and technologically challenging to process into black mass, as they require more energy and equipment to separate the metals from the phosphate. This means that recyclers have less room to make a profit from LFP batteries. Another challenge is the lack of standardization and regulation in the recycling sector. Different countries have different rules and requirements for handling and transporting hazardous waste such as batteries. Moreover, different recyclers have different methods and technologies for producing and processing black mass. This makes it difficult to compare and verify the quality and purity of black mass products. The black mass industry needs to overcome these challenges and find ways to optimize the value and quality of its products. Some possible solutions include developing new technologies and methods for processing different types of batteries, creating a transparent and reliable market for black mass trading, and harmonizing the regulations and standards across different regions. These steps can help boost the confidence and competitiveness of the black mass industry. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.